example, as we look at the radar over the last six hours or so, you can see these storms moving, but all these lines here on the radar, and we call those outflow boundaries. And for more on what they do and uh, what the what they cause or what causes them. Let's bring in meteorologist Kit Kloniger to have a uh, more, more detailed explanation. Yeah, Tim, well, last night we had a really similar setup weather-wise to today. Lots of up and down storms with a lot of these outflow boundaries really everywhere. And those happens when you have the storm air really settling to the ground and starting to spread out. That can start off new ones as well. But if you saw our newscast last night or we're on Facebook, there were some pretty high winds last night. I actually spoke with some people around Simmer and Plaza in Hastings about that. It kind of snakes up on you when you have one of those, you know, uh, but didn't last very long and didn't do any damage, so I was happy. For me to see it up front and personal was kind of like, it was kind of weird. It was like, it, it just gave me like a really, really good aspect on how quick nature can change and how the weather can just snap and just change on a dime. And it was just, it was crazy. This video was from the subway and the, the hail was around dime size, so a half inch or so. And those winds were somewhere around 45 to 50 miles per hour or some gusts may have been up. There was another microburst in Grand Island as well. Now around a developing storm, there may be dry, clear air like we've seen with over the past couple of days. And this can evaporate the water and cool it down in the air, which makes it want to sink and all the rain and hail in the storm already also wants to drop down. So that helps it fall even faster. Once the rain, hail, and air all smack into the ground. It has to go somewhere, so it spreads out in all directions. And this is where it can start to do damage. And winds in microbursts can get up to 150 miles per hour, can cause damage across two miles, and the hail can sometimes be large, like in a typical thunderstorm. So you'll see images of houses sometimes after these things come through, where it looks like they got hit with a shotgun, but it's a storm-wide cell. So what happened yesterday in Grand Island and Hastings were only up to 50 to 60 miles per hour, so low end, but uh, the good news is that they're relatively uncommon and over the next couple of days, Tim, it looks like we're going to have some more quiet, settled weather.